the security sector has been reformed, rootstock and branch. In the midst of fighting one of the worst fights in our history, we've reformed our security sector. A generational change in our security sector has taken place that was probably unprecedented in its scope and scale. President Ghani, as the Commander-in-Chief, uh, took this as a responsibility on himself um, to nationalize our security forces so that the people of Afghanistan see them as their protectors and the security force of Afghanistan. So he started by consulting with the ulama. He also started interacting directly with all of our military corps and the ministers. He started traveling to many of our um, military corps and meeting with soldiers during his visits. We have, uh, have assisted the Afghans in, uh, in developing uh, and continuing to grow a more merit-based promotion system. Uh, it's really kind of a nascent capability at this time, but we do see effects uh, in the field. We see, uh, in some cases, the 215th Corps down at Helmand. For instance, we see a lot of difference in the leadership down there. Uh, that has improved their battlefield capabilities. Zai urez, încerc să devii stat să rămâi. Alte minciuni au lipit de la zâmbe care au. Dar mi-a lăcat o gaită rală, ci chipul murit mi-a luat mal. Zai guaram că ne zâmbe care arășim. Când ești cu dulțe rală, ma ma te dresci la crău, ma te bătăna am dăsese. Dar ne zâmbe, arșe ești ma te la crău. Băuaru că ești zai de la xoșală. Bea da xoșală. Dumnezeu xoșală, zai mai este chipul pe joan care n-a dălodat ce. Când ești ma de ne zâmbe, eu nu fun pe joan care xoșală sum. Today, the Afghan army is probably the most respected institution in this country, pull after pull. And, but if you ask people, in 2014, this army was being described by the leaders of the country as a mercenary institution. The equation, people, army, state, is falling into place. ما غوشتله چې تل هم داسې یو څوک وسم چې خپل وطن ته خدمت وکړم او خپل د وطن سر جګ ودرم او داسې یو څوک وسم چې یو ورځ مې پلار مات وای چې داس ما لور ته روستان هغه نه ارزی ته ولارو چې هلته ما مالی کارونه شروع کړه لکه دا چې اول هفته مو یو هفته مو کمال مو د کلاشن کو فن دخته لوده چې ډیر عالی و ان د بیګ پیکچر what was necessary was to professionalize the military so that it acts more, prof uh, more professionally, but also more proficiently um, to be able to deliver the services that it needs to deliver, which is the protection of the Afghan people. But we also needed to ensure that when our soldier is on the front line, that he, he has the ammunition he needs, right? that he also has the food he needs, that he is protected and provided for, we don't leave him stranded on the front line as he is uh, putting his life at risk for our security, for the people, for the security of the Afghan people. According to MOI strategy, uh, my focus for, for the first year uh, in terms of our reform agenda in the MOI has been on five priorities. Uh, uh, fighting corruption, uh, reforming the structure of the MOI, and then human resources, uh, training um, and uh, then bringing more uh, police, female police officers into the system and promoting them to uh, senior and high level positions and also the reform in the traffic system of Afghanistan. Two years ago, um, when there was a lot of pressure from the enemy, uh, we would get, see Sticka would get many calls about uh, providing ammunition, fuel, etc. Uh, two units in the field. This year, despite the pressure of the enemy in, in many uh, significant engagements, we never got any calls. These were things that the, that, uh, the security forces were, were able to handle on their own. زه په دې پوهېدلم چې زه دا کار مخ ته وړی شم او دا کار مې تر اوسه مخ ته وړی او د خدای نه توکل دا غواړم چې تل تل به داسې اوسم او خپل وطن ته به خدمت وکړم موږ نور د خارج چې په تمه ونه اوسو خارجیان نور موږ سره مرسته ونه کړي 
خپل واک او تنوسو او خپل استقلال خپل پلاس باندې ونیسو